time to be stealthy. Welcome back to episode 7 of Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. We're about to go through this door here to try to get over to this uh, tree over here where Delian is. I just wanted to see what's over here first. It looks like this used to be a bridge to get over to there, to that place. Whatever that place is. But yeah, our goal is going over there. I think you can see Dillian still. That little white flickering thing over there at the base of the tree. I'm pretty sure that's him still. I just noticed. A bunch of bodies hanging from the tree. We saw it in like one of one of the first few visions she had. That same tree. What is that up there? Hold on, hold on. I uh, can't even see it. Oh, it's the dragon. The dragon head that we saw? That's what that is. through this gate. Okay, there's another way then. Let's go find it. I saw that there were four dots right in the tree to make that one symbol. So I'm thinking I need to find four of something. I've already been down there. This just leads me back down through the ladder I came up with. And it looks like the beach ends here. I know it still goes on. There's a cave over there. Let's go this way. symbol there. Looks like one at least. A rune. Alright, the cave. Is this what I saw? This entrance? I think it is. Yeah, this is what I saw. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chin them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. He sucks. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. Ah, I just started over again. But the king's wife <laughs> is Sigmund's sister. Oh, sorry. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chin them up instead. I tried to use focus because you can't he hear her breathing then. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, 
Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. What? She turns into a bee and stings him to death? What happens? I gotta find the next one. I wanna hear that. Holds on, the chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. What's the plan? Cold of heart and pure of blood. Well, he just killed her children, so is it a plot against him? What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait! Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well... I... I watched you. And... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. You should come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. Don't kill me. 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 Don
But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Another one? Looks a bit different. Looks like it was. There's no more rune on it. <laughs> There's no rune on it anymore. Not on this one either. Oh, there it is. The same one. Sigmund's sister. Trades shifts with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. Oh. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. So, the king's wife has sex with her brother, and then she's eventually nine months pregnant without the king knowing, has a baby without the king knowing, then raises the child without the king knowing, and then she sends him off to her brother, and they both go, and the king buries her son and her brother. That's interesting. <laughs> That's that's really crazy. How does he not know his wife is pregnant? And that he has a, a child, which is not really his, but it's still a child. And then the child's raised without him knowing. How is that possible? Another one. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Uh, sure, there's a heavy price to pay, but he didn't really pay a price. Like. She killed herself. She didn't have to do that. You know, if she was just fine as before, you know, she didn't really have that in her conscience, everything would have been great. He could have been the new king, 
supposedly, you know, he has Odin's gift, so new king, there you go. A great son, and a new wife or something, I don't know, <laughs> whatever she wanted to be. It would have been fine. She did not have to kill herself. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, the dragon head going over there. Oh yeah, we're actually at the tree. <laughs> Wait, we're going back the way we came? That's what that is, right? We just came from there. So I need to do something over... Oh, okay. What is that? A sword. The sword. down here? The metal. The runes. You need that sword. Okay. Go to the shaft. Find the shards. I saw those skulls in there. Let's go to the... Can I go to this one first? Mm, no. Alright, so that's why they didn't have any runes on them. How are we going to fight without a sword? There it is. Focus. There's the shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. it I saw see. once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Um. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... It what is this place? No going back now. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. There he is. There Did he is. Where? The light. Go towards it. He's oh. in the house. He's Find going it. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Where's it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to. Oh, I don't want to go in there. You will find him. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Like the old warrior trials. Delia will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste. The darkness, get out. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. Spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She 
you could taste the rot. But no one else could. Nice. She knew something was wrong. The pro god paid off. Sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Before he disappears, Senua, you have to get in. Is this the same gate? No, it's not. Uh, hmm. Hmm, okay. Maybe if I... Now? Now. Okay. Wait, the ladder. Maybe that's it. That is it. You found a way. This is not it. I need to get over there. But the path is gone. Huh. Guess I have to go over there. Oh, there sounds like something's over here. Didn't I just come from over here? Yeah, I did. And that is, there's a lot of path up. I need to fix this somehow. But I can't actually put it together yet. not working. And the path over here is gone. And if I go back through that if I go back through the gate over there, a little portal, then we'll see. I'll try it again. Unless there's a way over here. And there's not, okay. Oh, a third gate. What? That gate's useless then. Why is that gate there? The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light. Shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware. Because there will be death in that house. So I didn't actually see what this gate showed me, like what it unlocked. I'm guessing by going through this, this path over here stays open, and I can go through that one, and the ladder, and everything else, that little platform will be there. The path will stay open. This stayed open. This appeared now. Okay. That was a trial. 
We did that already. Can I just jump down? Okay. Jeez. Spikes. More darkness. Oh, the light's gone. Come on. Genoa, come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Yes. Are you in there? Find him. You have to come out if you want. The oh, it's behind there. Demian! They're coming for me! Oh my gosh! I just I just ran towards the thing I wasn't supposed to run towards. <laughs> oh gosh! Why? Oh no no come on! The rot will increase. It will spread. Okay okay this way. Get the way get the way. It is, huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Someone move away. Let's see. It is. Run. Focus. Focus. There it is. Focus. Focusing. Go. Focus. Open. Oh my gosh. This, this is not working. This, this is not working. Where's your sword? I don't have a sword. You can't do that. It's Dillion finding the creature. Where's Dillion? What shall I do? You're dying. You're lost. You're dying. This is what death feels like. The light. The Go towards it. Focus. 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 Look. No. What? I had the other one. It wouldn't let me do it. Oh, now it's over there. Oh, no. I can't go back. What? 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 There it is. Move away. Dillion. Where is he? This is taking too long. Can you hear him? You're lost. Just one more to find one more. Well, I found it. I just couldn't do it. I tried this. Come on. There it is. Nope, no, no, this way. Look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. Move away. You're lost again. Cut away. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. 
They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make no What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. With the first trial completed, this is the end of episode 7 of Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. So have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow.